man, I try to keep it solid, bro. That's why I wear that 100 shit on my neck, man. Like, I, I really stand on that shit, bro. Come on, man. That 100 means something to me, bro. I ain't yeah. gonna never be in break or fold or none of that, bro. Right, I'm right. A, I'm right. A, if, if, if I fold or be a, a different kind of way, that's gonna make me just like them. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, dun, dun, just, dun, dun, dun. Game 101, fellas. I just... I'd rather just be me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real, bro. All I know is how to keep it solid. Man. All them rules and shit, them OG niggas taught a nigga. Even some of the ones, they ain't stick to it. You know what I'm saying? I just happen to be one of them, bro. I'm going to just stick to the rules. I know I'm going to be all right. I swear. You know what I'm saying? I swear. Yeah, but that one was cool too. You like that one? Yeah, yeah. Started off with another one and then we'll go for Cause I know you finna uh So that, that so that's first? Do some rap into it? Whatever you feeling first. Okay. Tell me when I'm gonna I'm I'm get in a little bit, but I'm gonna let you do your thing because I know you you got something you trying to do right quick. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get out your way because you a 10 minute, 30 minute. <laughs> this gonna be right. his own segment, y'all. For real. Let me figure out a better way to take it, take it, take it. So we're intro. I go, let you go. Get out your way and do your thing, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, put it behind the Bible. But I'm gonna give you my phone. Yeah, I don't want it. You finna shut out the bullshit down. I mean, most of it. <laughs> Let's get it. Cause the other part is action. The other part is action. Action. I'm Jackson. talking. It's action. Are y'all fingers off? Yeah, you can just take mine with you. Pretty much know what I wanna say to Flippin' Ratchet. See, that's my brother, man. Y'all don't know he no karate. The ride minds are at it. Don't stop on these boys, man. We kamikaze. It's Michael Calion, huh? Bleed the line. Bleed the line. Bleed the line. Feed the line. I'm talking, uh. You know, nine at a time. Come back and did a brick, man. One at a time, uh. Back door, I went rock for rock. I really stood on that block and went night for night. Came back up. Benzo when I ride, Calion, Michael D, man, y'all know Southside, where I'm from, where I go, where I be, I know that row, I know that flip, I know that, but we gon' come down, riding in that Benz, surround by sign, ain't no more, we keep the trunk closed, mean we let them 18s knock and ride foes, yeah, uh-huh, we roll up, uh-huh, get the then we pull up, pull up, Make a store run, it's a home run. Platinum albums with the chrome gun. Huh. You see me in the murder dial. They still, we ain't heard of y'all. If she ain't got a high credit score, you what? look great. Skirt, we swerving y'all, curving y'all. You need to get some Geritol. I mean, you old, I'm platinum, and I'm gold. Multi platinum. Everything was really sold before the streams, before the dreams. Like Dr. King, uh -huh. I had a dream. Had a dream. Nature and means. These savage hearted sharks collabed with the clover. And they ain't dropped yet. These the only pair. I'm Wesley. Had hustlers in Wesley Square. Used to go to Cullen. I had a blue and yellow Apollo Collie, Chris Mullen. 25 lighters on my dresser. Yes, yes sir. sir. Pulled up in the cyber truck, Tesla. Tesla. Yes, sir. But we on bits and net. And everything is lit like a cigarette. You trying to quit, nigga. Get a patch, nigga. Man, I won the match, nigga. In the scat, nigga. And it's a pack, nigga. I'm in my act, nigga. <laughs> Can't treat me like that, nigga. Never been a Always been a A polo-style guy. Not heel figure. And then I bought a condo in Buckhead. Damn. It was Bugle Boy, and then we wore a duck head. Hold up. The word drove by Yates. I went on a date with Ricky Lake. Mariah Carey, true story. I did drink champs with Nori. Oh, it's a freestyle. I ain't write nothing. Why you got teardrops? Nigga. 
You won't fight nothing. You won't shoot nothing. You won't stab nothing. You won't loot nothing. You won't grab nothing. I'm from Cloverland. Cloverland. From the three. Road from the mo. I'm still a G. Free C note. Welcome home, Diz. We had a neighborhood meeting. Me and his. Huh. DG Duke. Dr. Zai. I miss my mama, my granny, my grandpa. They gave me a lot of game in this business. You do your dirt, please leave no witness. I don't like to talk them by action. You on that book, John Paxson. Smoke another, smoke another. Screw lady, put down the runs. Straight up. And we go smoke them back to back. Steven Seagal with the flow. This action pack. Captain Jack, they know my voice. Murder dog in the cover of the source. Every cover, you seen me. She rubbing on me. I'm not a genie. Papa Dose, Black Bar, that's where we go. Eat some sushi, wear some rubies. The coop kind of green, it look like a lube. Hold up, man. I can spit on these. Even when I'm constipated, I still spit on these. Yeah, the coldest you ever saw. And I don't want to have to break your jaw. In three or four places, like I break the law. Oh. That's a Chris Wood line. That's my partner. It go down. You yeah. think I'm lying? I miss my pokey. And I, every day you see me in this and rollie, it's a gift from TJ down yeah. in Austin. Represent Cloverland like Nipsey did Slauson. Clover's everywhere, you would swear I'm from Boston. Sipping exotic pop with what? <coughs> no coughing. <laughs> I knew it, man. This boy here, man. That was just a warm up, man. That's a warm up session, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, right now, and I do mean right now, we got Clover G, yeah, yeah. Flipper Ratchet, Lil Flip, the Freestyle King is in the building, man. We had to switch up. You know what I'm talking about? Got to do a little King like. You are tuned in to the Dirty Third Network. This is the one on one with Miggy and Mike D right now. I got a guest in the building that's family. You did. You Go did. by the name of King Flip <clears throat> in the building. What up, bro? What's up with it, my guy? Yeah, right? No fingerprints. You know did. All right, P32. All day, every day, man. We made it, man. That's just a little warm up, man. Y'all get ready. My boy yeah. said he got a point to prove with this rap. Yeah, I mean, every time I rap, I got a point to prove. I've been trying to, like, you know, gear up. You know Michael Messi. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so you came, then you know, I already know my boy. When I call, he coming, man. So, you know, we're going to let the rap do the talking. Hey. No, I'm talking whatever. about. I'm here. That's what it is, man. What's going on, brother, man? We just going to jump around a little bit, man. I went to the building, man. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. Man, so what is this CEO life? Before we even get started on anything, yeah. yes, what's up with this CEO life? I mean, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I'm CEO, different companies, but I just became president of Urban at a new company called Up Above Entertainment. Right. So, you know, we, we, we getting things together. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got some things coming. The first project we go drop is going to be a joint venture. Okay. We go, we go announce that when it when it's time. When it's time. It, yeah, yeah. But it, it's 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 his story. Can, can you come? I let you be a while. Yeah, we yeah. Because I think I know what you talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. We just, you know, we just as soon as the uh, uh, uh. oh, when the paper get greater. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. we we go do we go kick it out with something historic, um, for the fans, and then we doing a talent show auditions where we go sign the next mega star to Houston. So. That's on September 22nd on Sunday, so we, we about to sign somebody from H-Town and uh -oh. put a bag behind them and, you know, teach them media training and the whole nine yards. So I'm the president of Urban, and then OG Run C is the general manager. So shout out to Marco, man. Hold up. Now, that's some full circle movement right there. Yeah. The, the, the building was beautiful, man. As we let y'all see, y'all know, man. When he's, It's not a downsize when he say CEO to president because when you the president of something, 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 yeah. you see what that means. You say run G O G run C man. I stand corrected on one thing before we get going. Okay. I, I had stated on my show that it was a gentleman that was the first person that went to the north <clears throat> and did a song when when it was not cool to go to the north and do songs with people from the south. You broke that bridge first, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, I'm the first artist out the screwed up clip to go freestyle on a Swisher House tape. So Come on, I, man. So I went to OG Run C house. 
he had all the Jordans everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And we recorded. So like when you hear the We Blow Endo, uh, the Chicken Head, Big Shasta was with me. We did Gotta Stack Your Paper. We did Swing Glass 84s. I think that's like the three. And then I was featured on a uh, Big Tiger album. I was featured on OG Run C album and Brotherhood. We had that record, Do You Ride Platinum Cars? Right. Like with the 50 50 twins. So, yeah, I, and I, I got family on the north side. So I was always over there anyway. Fifth Ward, Studi Wood, like just anyway. So I never got caught up in the, you know, we can't go over there. They can't, you know what I'm saying? It never, it never affected me. So, and, and the crazy part, my biggest freestyle to this day. Till this day, blow in it's, uh, we blow in though. I know. You know it's what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah. It's different how, how things like that, it's crazy how things like that happen, man. But that's that's a test of time right there to let you know when it's meant to be, it's meant to be, man. And right. then so now y'all come full circle again into this new venture you're doing. You yeah. know, oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, because I had the opportunity, you know, to hire whoever, you know what I mean? But his name got tossed in the in the head. And I'm like, nah, well, this is an opportunity for us to work together in the corporate form. We, we did freestyles and mixtapes together, you know what I'm saying? See each other at shows, he done DJ for me a few times, but now, now, let's, now let's do some generational wealth. Type. So we over there, we got it together, man. You know what I'm saying? The building, you know, film studio. I see. We, uh, we got the million dollar recording studio, you, mm. know, you know, expensive mics, you know, that come in big boxes, you know what I'm saying? And see, see, seeing that make me, Step my game, yeah. Bro. You know what I mean. I love the set, though. I love Appreciate it, bro. You, are, got, you and Roe gonna be the first ones <clears throat> that come out on this one. Hey, because I had to bring the King chair out for the Kings. Come on hey, now, that's what yeah. I'm about. wouldn't be right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kings of the South two on the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going down. Speaking of taking it back, man, you were a than like you a than alumni first of all, like but like this star thing didn't start in the street, like. Words and really blew you up, didn't it, man? Going to words and what all yeah. were you doing besides rapping now? Man, some of the other shit we can't talk. That they'll see. It in no, the, look, they'll see it in the movie. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they'll see that shit in the movie, but uh, like your jersey still there. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah I, Tell I, us about I, that, I man. I play, I play basketball, um, and then they got the program to where you can go to school half a day and make and go to work, right? So one of my partners, he played football, and uh, he's like, man, I'm a janitor, man. I'm a, you know, I, work. I go to school half a day, and I clean up, you know, a little bit, and I make my money. I'm like, all right, $16, $17 an hour, all right, cool. I'm like, hey, cool. So he was like, I'm about to leave the job. You want to do it? I'm like, yeah, yeah. So basically, I became a janitor. I was only in charge of one table. So I basically got paid to take our three lunches with my partners and, you know, the 20s, you know what I'm saying, the kneecaps, you know what I'm saying? So I'm having the time of my life. I'm telling all my partners, they clean all y'all shit up. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't have much to really do. And then when all the lunch was over, I just swept, I swept a little bit, boom, boom, mop down there. And then she went to school. I had to go sweep one classroom and then go upstairs and empty one trash. And that was it. So I was leaving, going to Timmy Chan's, going to, Pop of those going to the hood, like I was done, and then, learning, I, had, and then I had to come back for basketball practice. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on. Now. So, you know, it was so cool. you learned all the hustling early, yeah, yeah. You my, was my trying grandma, to get it. My yeah. grandma, she turned, bro, my grandma turned our garage, I mean, our uh, yeah, our garage into a beauty shop, right? So, I grew up in a house and then a beauty shop, right? So, right. I'm always, I've been around women my whole life, right? So I go down there, you know, he's so cute and all Performer. that. Performer. So, yeah, performing. Yeah. Go on, rap for him. Go on, you know what I'm saying? So I was making money, you know what I'm saying, with the, the client. She was making money doing their hair. I come spit a little freestyle and, you know, oh, yeah, make yes. some money. And, and so, you know, it's in me not My baby can rap. Yeah. My baby can. But your family is rich in history of music also, though. Correct, correct. Yeah, I, I got family members that made it. And um, my grandma, she was the, the choir director for the church. So you born in my family, you singing in the choir. It wasn't no, hey, do you want us? Nah, it was this what we do, this what we doing. So I always grew up around pianos and you know shit like that. Um, and the choir church is going to do, you know what I mean? Other churches right. to sing, family reunion, talent shows. So I was born in it and I sworn in it, you know what I'm saying? So the difference between me and a lot of other artists is I got in the, the game doing music for God. 
right? So Amen. I don't love money. So I don't let money dictate every move that I make because there's been situations that I did for discounted prices and then I got there and ended up getting another feature, getting another. So I ended up getting what I really wanted. So by me seeing how the world works based on, you know, operating off energy, but not playing yourself, you know what I'm saying? So I, I find the balance in between, do I want to be sitting at home? Or do I want to get this money? Now, even though this money might not, might not be what I, what I really want, you know, you, you, you might get a shorter show, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm a still, you, you ain't gonna never feel cheated. You know right. what I'm saying? Like if you, if you book me, you know, I might give you extra 10, 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You Straight might book up. me 30, but it's, it's an energy thing. And then especially if the crowd and you know what I mean? So I just operate off the energy. So seeing my grandma do that, and then my grandma originally from a town called Pineland, Texas. Mm. Rest in peace to my cousin Jody too. And R. so R. And my, my grandpa, he was from Tennyhow. So my grandmother's dad, uh, Robert Trailer, um, he had a house in Pineland and he sold candy, ice cream, cookies, pickles, all at the front of his house. In the back of his house, he built another house. It was a barber shop, so he was a barber. Mm. So I witnessed my great grandpa making candy out the front house, cutting hair in the back house. You know what I'm saying? So I just saw the art of that. And then my dad was a master car salesman. He used to sell cars. So I saw the way he went to work at like 5 p.m., the night shift, and then sold so many cars. And a lot of people, they, they went to work at 8. Right. And then they'll look at the board and see, okay, Wesley ain't sold no cars, and he ain't come in today. Mm -hmm. And then the next day they come in to work, they look at the sh they're like, damn, how he sell nine cars? So the whole art of like how the world try to program you to, you know, making you feel like you have no way to make it if you don't get a nine to five or if you, everybody got their own path. I ain't knocking nobody who, you know what I'm saying, want to do the that, that That ain't for me, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I want to be able to leave with my money the same day I do my work. Anything can happen in two weeks. So with that said, me seeing the different ways that they hustled and you know, my grandma doing hair. Well, what happens when people getting their hair done? They get hungry. So she had plates, she, showed, she, she had food, you know, the nine laters, the pickles, the, you know, all that kind of shit. So I'm watching hustle, hustle. a person come to your, your trap, legal trap for one thing. And you know, hey, you buy the trees, hey, you get some free blunts. You, 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 yeah, it's like being in the mall, bro. When they give you the samples of the food and you, you, you like it, like, hey, if you like this, go right here. I, I use the same approach I see my parents and grandparents uh -uh. use, I and, see. and I did that with my music. You know what I'm saying? So I do different deals strategically, like, all right, cool. They might not, can't, they probably can't afford to pay me this. All right, cool, well, what's the best y'all can do? Okay, that, well, I'm gonna need some equity on here, and then I'm gonna need you to do a deal. I be throwing alley-oops and shit. I be trying go. to find ways, not only to bring myself in a situation, but I try to find ways to bring my brothers in, especially my deserving brothers. Cause we got brothers and then we got deserving brothers. Oh, we gonna get there. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so I try to bring my deserving brothers in that, you know what I'm saying, go embarrass me. You know what I'm saying, let's go hold a, you know, treat this shit like what it is. It's professional, this, this is business. You know what I'm saying? Like we started off doing it young and all that, but at the end of the day, this is business. People got mortgages and, and rents and insurances and kids and, Man, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All that, so, you know. I've seen people making money different ways. So, hey, if I ain't got no show to do, hey, we selling uh, sodas, exotic pot. We ain't, we ain't got no, no sodas, we selling cereal. We ain't got that, we got liquor. We got, we managing boxers. We got fighters. We got, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, it's serious, look at me. That's all good, I still got it. It's just here, help us out, take and a you, And you see my cup ain't foul. Look, I'm Re talking about Reflexes are still. And don't you say sh bro. Yeah. Don't you say a damn. Day. I know it. Look, as soon as I touch something, there it go. Yeah. It's all good, man. Yeah, nah, we there, man. But nah, I grew up. Now nah, I'm going to get the cup. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> look, look. But I grew up around hustlers, bro, so you know what I'm saying? So the hustle never stopped there, man. It, it I never, see where it come from, man. Yeah, it never stopped. And, and my goal is always to bring my people in. After I get in the door, okay, make sure it's straight. Okay, cool. The boat's sturdy. Okay, it's all right, come on. Cause sometimes people just try to bring their people before making sure it's straight. That they straight. Yeah. That's when it, that's when you mess up. Yeah. Speaking of it, when you was coming up like in Cloverland, 
the Biden boys was already on. Why didn't you go the uh, the Biden boy route? What made you go the the, the sucker free route? Um. So basically, like no free C no to my brother. Oh, super free C yeah, no. That's my guy. Um. Basically, they were still trying to fit, feel and figure out what they had going on. You gotcha. know, still in the streets. It still looked making, like they had, but they hadn't. Yeah. Yeah, like they. I don't recall them ever having a publicist, you know what I'm saying, or a manager. They was doing everything on their own, you know what I'm saying, mm. booking the shows, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, listen, man, do something with dude, because, you know, he already got an entertainment company. <clears throat> and, you know, right now we trying to figure this shit up. We, we don't want to hold you up. So it was like, nah, we, we still from the hood. We still, don't rap we still yeah, we still rocking. He did that, which is real, which I infinity salute. Is like, that before the, the diamonds in your face? Um, or, or did y'all do that after he gave you that advice? Because uh, I'm sure coming up in COVID. I, I was, now I was already over that. It was before that because oh, he wanted gotcha. me to do diamonds in your face because of uh, the, the buy the car, buy the house record. You know what I'm mm. saying? So, you know, he was like, I want you to do that the same style, you know? Right there. And, and so that's why the diamonds in your face style, we rapping that. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I mean? Because he heard me on the buy the car, buy the house. So. We heard you on at Stadium Bowl. We heard about the tidal wave coming. Like, I think somebody said it best when they said, like, oh, Jay-Z said when 50 Cent was coming, it was yeah. like a, the streets knew you was coming yeah. because you Stadium was that Bowl. young Stadium Bowl. You was that young problem that wasn't mm -hmm. losing no battles. Right. Stadium Bowl, uh, Carol's, uh, Club Unique, Drumsticks, Chocolate Town, uh, Skate, skate Rings. Just joking, comedy club, club oasis, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was everywhere doing battles and just building my name up, you there know what I'm saying? Go. Like, just, hey, I'm over here. And some of them wasn't even battles. Some of them was just like, you know, who freestyle the best? Go. Yeah. Yeah, who freestyle the best? You know, it, it wasn't like, hey, we dissing each other, but then it was some people I had to get at work to, like. That's what yeah. I try to tell people about Houston. It's not, we went, yeah, we did the freestyle battle, but it was more about freestyling. Can you explain to them what, what like, how we did that, what that meant, like, riding around in that car, right, hitting right. the roof and, and, yeah. and putting it together? What those words, like, like, letting them know that those weren't words we just wrote the last night. Right, yeah, freestyle, top of the head. We just going off, you know, off the top and, even when I was doing the battles, some of the battles was just, hey, freestyle, who got the best skills? And then some of the battles was like, you had to actually rank and go in gotcha. on who's standing in front of you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so I did a, a lot of bit of both, but like as far as my bros and screwed up click, you know, when we hanging, I freestyle, we would just freestyle on some brotherhood shit. It was like on some, you know, steel sharpened steel. Like I remember having a cypher, RIP to Pokey and Hope. Man. I remember, Having a cypher, bro, in Yellowstone, at Pokey spot, and it was beat playing, and Hawk and Pokey, they was rapping. Come and, on, man. And then they was, like, trying to double-team me. They was trying to double-team me. And I, Let's go. I, and, and, I, I, and, and I was, hey, I got with them. They was like, I, like, I had earned, you know how you do certain things, and you be like, okay, you earned, really earned somebody respect. Right. Type. So they always had love and respect for me, but they was able to just to see, like, nah, this you know, cold. So i I never forget that moment. And just other moments that we had, like when we be on some, you know, Wes and Mike shit, you know, when me and Ro be on some right, like Wes and right. Joseph shit. Like we be freestyling, chilling yeah. in the kitchen, just, and we just having fun with this, you know? And we, we should have been recording a lot of that, this, but, whole but, lot. but we be, uh, you know, we, we get to have no filters. So a lot of the, mm -hmm. the personal freestyles, <laughs> You know, they can't never see the light can't of the day. Can't go see the light of the yeah, day, man. Yeah. We got a few things to say, man. That's crazy, yeah. man. So when y'all did that, when so as they was blowing up and you went, obviously went your own way, because HSC was hustle stacking ends. Y'all was, bef you had that group before you went to Sucker Free, or y'all yes. formed Sucker Free, no. rather. Yeah, yeah. so it was, it, it was Sucker Free Entertainment first. When I got there, you know, we chopped it up. Hey, let's make it a label. Okay, we both go be the CEOs, you know what I'm saying? We go, you, you coming with the talent, I'm coming with most of the money. You know what I'm saying? That was the agreement. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. That's what it was. So we did records, you know what I'm saying? But um, 
as far as like me going my own way or like we were still always collabing, you know what I'm right, saying? Me and noting right. them like ain't nothing ever changed. I just um <clears throat> just hit the road and did what I had to do. But prior, so in middle school, like I, I was in a group called Two Crunk. I had a group called Two Crunk. And then after that, that was me and my homie Brandon. And um then I'm like, all right, man, let, let me let me let me switch it up. Let's do some hustler stacking. I wanted to have an acronym and have like some by stacking ends, and I just wanted to Get spell money. spell it different. Right. Like my dad used to always be, why you spell your songs? You know, I'll put a Z or I'll put a, you know, I won't spell it dollars with an S. So I'll put a Z or stacking has a I N. You know what I'm saying? Ends, E N D Z. So anyway, it was different members. By the time I got to high school and I met dude, man. like we had probably rotated about five to seven different members in the group. You know what I'm saying? Who was the founding members? Who was the first ones? The first one was me. Okay. And yeah. Then, cause and then, then my cousin, you okay. know what I'm saying, Jody, rest in peace. Oh, I peace, Jody. Yeah. yeah. So it was just us two, because I used to go to Pineland, like, for the summer. Man. So it was, it was just us two. That was my big cousin. He taught me how to cook, hoop, you uh, know, uh, uh, shoot, like, hunt. Like, like food, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause see, yeah. people. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we go. Yeah. We go. You know. Food. Yeah. Food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Statue limitation. You know. Yeah. What I'm yeah. Saying? Nah, he, he taught me. How, <laughs> it, was, it was. It was legit food though. Like. Okay. He, he he taught me. You know how to be a young man because his mom. You know what I'm saying. Used to always work, and so he would be at home a lot. You know what I'm saying. So he gotcha. had to make his own food, and so I got to see somebody that was a teenager but still operate like an adult. You know what I'm saying. Had to make sure they eat and out. Make sure they get to school. So. You know, so I, I had different members and um, that was in the group. And then by the time I got to high school, you know what I'm saying, R.I.P. to my bro Jason. Man. Like, when you hear the song G's and Ballers, like, I had paid for studio time for us to go somewhere else. So we recorded it. And then he passed away. But the studio wasn't a real, real good studio. So we ended up sampling, like, what we did at the other studio. So that's why if you listen to it, his verse sound a little, I say a little... I say a little muffled, but not like crazy. It's not as crispy as ours because we had to sample that from the studio time I paid for before Damn. we put it out over there. So, yeah, it was just different members, man. But I, I seen Young Red. That's my brother. Talking oh, to him. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I oh, he to, love you. Shout out, yeah, Young Red. Yeah, that's my bro. Man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, so that's when y'all grew into that one to the one that actually came out under. Correct, Sucker free right? Because who, who were the members of that that one right there? Um, uh, Young Red, and then I, I, I got AP. Okay, you know, what I'm so saying? that was a three three headed yeah, monster. Yeah, it was right three. There. And then we had like other <laughs> members that were like external, just like screwed mm. up click. Everybody don't rap. Everybody don't sing. You know there what I'm saying? Go. So we had different people. So it, it was bigger than just you know music. You know what I mean? There you go. Business. I mean, hustle stacking ends. That that said it all coming from Sunnyside. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me, man? Yeah, that's serious, there, man. So when you got so sucker free was already formed when you got there. Sucker Free Entertainment was already there. was already formed, and, so, and then when I got there, there you go. Then we chopped it up, and I'm like, "Hey, let's make this a record label." You know what I'm saying? And then we made it a record label, and we both agreed that we both was gonna be the CEOs on some partnership, like baby. You know what I'm saying? The baby and Slim type shit. That's what it was. That was what the agreement was. And that was the wave then. Like everybody was on the masterpiece screw, uh, DJ screw, uh, uh, laugh ticks, uh, CEO, correct, rapper label move correct. back then. So it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you almost wasn't doing an independent album if you weren't some part of the CEO in the situation. Right, right. So and I was a it, CEO. I was a CEO of HSE. So basically, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, stay, I'm saying this to say, prior to me becoming the CEO of that, I was a CEO of. HSC already, and I already was the CEO of Clover G Records. I just didn't trademark it yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know how you rep your for you trade like you. Yeah, we you can't tell us we ain't what we is, you know. So that's how that went. So what makes this sucker come later and get on Willie D and do our let's see about what you owe in this? Cause I seen the black and white. I know what I seen. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I know it's certain things you can't say, but just can yeah. you allow me to say, I ain't gonna say what it said, but can you yeah. allow me to verify a few things? Yeah, do, do your thing, brother. Listen, man, Hump came to me, bro, and he was like, I wanna do an interview, but he wanna talk about y'all situation. Me being an OG, 
just so y'all know what it is. I'm like, hey, look, we ain't got to do it in front of no camera, though. Like, this, well, I was in jail when y'all formed it, but, like, I know Hump from, from the hood. You know what I mean? Then you my brother, so I'm like, hey, why we got to get on TV? Won't we just all three sit down and figure out what the problem is and go from there? Right. Okay, so dude, tell me some, all right, well, we can do that. So when it's time to do that, he take off running. He don't come. I call you. I tell you. You know what I'm saying? So he go to making some accusations about that you stole some publishing and did this. I'm like, so I ask you again. I, I don't. I say I don't know if we talking about the same flip. So let me just make sure. Right. <laughs> so I call you and you show me what you show me, and it's like, man, like, like it's it's a that used to work for you. A disgruntled employee, correct. When he left, did some in the in the name of that. So it's making it look like like oh y'all did it because there's no way somebody's gonna be with you all that while and just do this continuously and then and when they gone, it's cool. If you're gonna do some, you gonna do it when you gone, correct. So when I try to sit the meeting up between y'all, man, dude just ghost me and then all of a sudden he pop up on 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 like you know. Like, what's the deal with that dude, man? Like, man, like, is it clout? Is it, I don't get it. You went and cleared it up on Willie D, man, but I right. seen the black and white. I know it ain't no f going yeah, on, I ain't, you I know what I mean? To, yeah, I ain't had to do with changing nothing. I, I still, to this day, don't even know how to go on there and change. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't instruct nobody to do nothing, so we dealing with all that behind the scenes. See, a lot of times, like, if you really want to solve a problem, like, I live by the old laws. Like I had two meetings with him prior to hitting the fan. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I, I, I'm not afraid to look you in your eyes, especially if you owe me some money. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wanted to do it the Big West way. Like my dad was like, hey, man, dude. And I'm, I'm telling him, I'm like, man, I'm telling you, I, I, I got a feeling this is just going to end up. So I, I did it the Big West way. And the same that I knew was going to happen, happen so now we go do it the little west way you know what i'm saying Yo so way. so so the lawyers they they'll deal with that but I, I try to be real it. like real fair you know look you in your eyes tell you you know how i felt about certain shit, you know what i'm saying on some but what i realized bro this is a spiritual war exactly it, 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 it's that, it's bro. it's good it, it, hey it's righteous it's godly against evil bro i stand on the righteous side bro like if i got a problem with somebody i'm gonna talk to them face to face like we go talk we go have a conversation it don't matter who you is what you rep what you a part of man i'm not afraid to have no conversation with nobody especially when it comes to my family money and the what way he got, handled what it what you stand for yeah the way Dude, he handled it it, it, it was we, it wasn't respectable bro because if we supposed to be fam let, let's solve this shit. i went down as low as to 10 like literally 10%, I'm, I'm like, pay me 10% of what you owe me. Just to see. And one of my close brothers told me like, you was being too grateful, you know what I'm saying? Nah. I ain't gonna say which one of my brothers <laughs> told me that. <laughs> he like, you better than me, so. What, why did you do that though? Because I don't love money. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, just show me you, you, you got respect for me and you appreciate what I brought to the table. But I'm also the type of person that if a person you know, take some from me or think right. they took some or stole some. I want to look you in your eyes so you can tell me to my face if I took that. Exactly. If you're and, a real G. Yeah, yeah. yeah tell, you yeah. know, so it was like I, I don't respect that because I, I sat down, you know, to make it, to, to handle it the right way. You know what I'm saying? According to Big West. And, and Which is your dad. Correct, correct. So do with, that ever make you i don't mean to cut you <clears> out bro but do that ever make you feel like because i don't think people understand what the difference between weakness and meekness is do it ever hurt you because you do it the right way you know my way but you do shit the g way it's almost it, it, it is the mafia way man because see people don't understand like hump and your dad were like buddies so if hump was out there getting it that mean you feel what I'm saying? That's why I thought. So he, you he, come he, from it. So that's why I thought he would never do nothing crazy because of the relationship he had with my dad. So in my mind, I'm like, he got me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like meaning like, yeah, he got right. like, this one person. I ain't got to. That's why I strategically did business with him because he had ties to my dad. And I thought that that would be like a shield for 
him doing the right thing. But it's all to the G, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? We go, I'm going I'm to, like, literally let the lawyers <laughs> handle that. Handle that because at the end of the day, bro, I haven't been paid no royalties or nothing. And one thing, I'm not going to let nobody do play with my name. You bet a thief, not. Like, a thief? Like, still for what? I'd rather ask for it. What, what do I got to, like, take anything from nobody? I'm blessed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I'm blessed. So, when you, when you try to, blessed. so, you ain't going to defame my character and make it seem like I'm, I'm stealing something. When you ain't paid me not one dime since streaming started, I have not got paid a dime off the leprechaun in HSE. Well, I think it was our clout because any two ways, you know me, man. I'm a, everybody know you come high late Kylie. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I knew that he didn't want to do it because he said it like, you know, hey, uh, man, I already tried sitting down two or three times. Bro, it take seven, eight, nine, ten times sometime to get it right. If this, if y'all family, if, right. cause see people looking like that, you might, they might be saying, what do you mean his daddy? Like, nah, bro, you gotta understand this man come from Cloverland, that's Sunnyside. These people, gangsters, these real OGs in the streets. This ain't no like, oh, my dad, my dad. No, this West and you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, why you don't want to come sit down with me of our people? I don't care if it take 20 times to do it. Right. That's how you know somebody don't mean well because it wasn't a day or two. I didn't even call you back because a day or two later the Willie D interview came out. Right. And when I seen you come on that, I didn't want, I could have took the interview for clout. Right. I, pre I appreciate you, you know, standing on principles and just not allowing a person to nah. come and try to, you know, uh, defame my character. For what? And, and you know the real story. You know exactly. what I'm saying? You, you know the amount of money that I didn't help. You, 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 you know, like my whole career, until I, I woke it. up out of the, the days, my whole career, I was probably giving away 30% of my show money to a, a gang of people that was around me. You know what I'm saying? For multiple reasons, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. Yeah. You get a I, bad rap, bro. I, I, know, I know a lot of people that they, they, they going home with all their money. I ain't paying no DJ, I ain't paying no, you know what I'm saying? So my whole career, I always wanted to help the people um, that showed up, and especially the person that showed up the most. Because see, a lot of people, they get caught up in this, like, I got the talent so I can be an ass type on some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to obey by no rules type shit. And then you got the like you know how they say the most talented people are usually the hardest people to work with, right? Mm -hmm. But then you got a person that might not be as talented <clears throat> as everybody else. But this motherfucker's showing up. This motherfucker's listening. You you okay, boom. Now you, you're showing, hey, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. Now this person that's showing up while the other is showing up, he's gaining all kind of other traits. Okay, we ain't doing no shows, let me show you how to edit. You ain't doing that, da, da, da. so anytime anything happen it didn't matter what part of the world i'm on if i call capone he coming that's for sure you know what i'm saying <laughs> we go get if, I, if i call shermo he coming for sure like like it's some people if i call ward he coming if i call these he coming it's some people that they go come i call row he coming you know what i'm saying real life and, and, and real real and, life and, and so as as you grow and mature you know what i'm saying like i was able to go through all those different things but a lot of those things ain't surprised me because my dad already he already uh, program me and prepare me for the type of stuff that happened in life, the streets, the music, as a baby. So a lot of these lessons that he taught me as a baby, when I would see him as a kid, like, oh, okay, this that shit he talking about. Mm -hmm. It's like having a built-in Siri type. So I be knowing what to do and how to boom, 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 but I'll put my flip to it because I've been through some other shit that he ain't been through, so I gotta do it the Big West way, but mesh it with my way and the godly way and make sure I come back home. And so, you know, we go stand on business. How did you get shot, bro? I'll, I'll just leave that to more like not letting it sink in who I was. You know what I mean? You know how you can just get comfortable and just kind of be like, I'm still gonna do the same. Like everybody don't look at you the same as you elevate, no more. you know what I'm saying? So. Ever since that day, you know what I'm saying? I move, I move a different way. It could either right. make you worse or it could make you better. So I move a way different way since that day. That's why, 
you know, I I I don't play with people, you know what I'm saying? Like that, you know. So and I I don't I don't it's best not to play with me, especially a person who lost his grandpa, mama, uh granny, all like back to back. So oh, not so every day it's no. a it's a different. It's a yeah, it's a yeah. different, you know, thing I'm going through and, and, and thinking and you know, drowning out those different losses by working and just continue to stay work because the way I'm able to process death and deal with death, like the more busy I stay in my mind, like RIP Big T, all the people that we didn't lost that were close to us, mm-hmm. because I'm used to being on the road or not seeing them every day, in my mind, they still alive, I'm just busy. You, feel, you see what I'm saying? I'm already programmed to not see them, but when it comes to your mama, your granny, and your daddy, them type of people, that's different. I know they ain't there. I know, exactly. I know I'm not gonna get that phone call at uh, 11.59 on March 2nd, one minute before my birthday from my mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that hurt. Yeah, so. And like I told you, you know, roll loss years, I lost mine, we all lost our, our queens. That those, that, it don't get, you know, it don't get better, bro. You just, every day just different. It just, yeah, you know, you know what I mean? All that people talking about, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. See. Some days just better than others. Agreed, and my mama, in my studio, at home, like my favorite picture of me and her is on the wall. And I've then seen her, it. her ashes, you know, right there under the picture. So, you know, then her picture is like on my speaker. So when I'm recording, I'm looking at her. It's a picture that we did when I was inside the Source magazine, and she braided my hair. And, she, and uh, I ain't let her braid it no more after that, though. But <laughs> it's looking crazy. But I got that picture, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. And they, they had put that picture in the magazine. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's best to just leave people who ain't who lost their parents alone. Like, uh, like, like, like something that you love. Yeah, everything that you love like yeah, that. Like that, because it, any any given day, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you could just I, snap like that and be like, look. Yeah. So so me, I just surround myself with positive people, people that think like me or bigger than me. If you surround yourself with people who don't think like you or bigger than you, you like, Get it's, it's going to be problems. Because I'm just trying to see you moving. I mean, I don't see you moving in a way like, I don't see the beef. Like, was it beef or uh, a I, chick? It, you it, must it, knock somebody chick. Man, now. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I come from the era, man. Listen, man. What was the, that? The world, the world <laughs> may never know. But the, yeah, the, right, but, right. But the right. overall thing, though, <laughs> is it, just when you elevate, you have to elevate your thinking and you have to elevate the way you move. Right. You can't be naive to your fame and assume everybody is going to be happy for you and oh. proud of you because that ain't how it goes. So I, I just was a little bit too comfortable. So your success took a shot at you. Yeah. So and enough said. So that, yeah. The hate, hater it. Hey, it's all good. That's it's, crazy. It's, I just can't see it, man. When I heard about that, I was just like, especially where was MJ Street? I'm like, man, who the hell would try, bro, right yeah. there, knowing that, like, you the most protected right there ever. It just lets you know that, like, they don't care. They just willing to die just to, just to see you not make it. Hey, you know what I mean? I learned. I learned. All they had to do was get down with you. You at least right. let them watch the Jag back then. Hey, man. <laughs> Who knows, man? You, you feel you know? me? Man, that's what it is, man. So after that you start moving different, bro. You yeah, start yeah. moving different, boy. And you was you was pissing a lot of people off, but a lot of times you have to, man. How did it make you feel that you had to move different knowing that now my success is is after me and I need to, you know, isolate myself a little different? How how was that making you feel as a such a generous person as yourself is, man, to where you had to go in the damn near selfish mode almost. Um, Survival my, mode, not selfish. My grandpa was in the Army, so I, I used to hunt all that kind of shit with him. I, when I was four, I shot a hole in the floor with, with his pump. He was outside in the backyard. So I've been around guns and then my uncle and the Black, you know, Black Panthers and shit. So the military moving, you know what I'm saying, mind state and mindset was already around me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it was already in me. That particular night, I was like rushing and left my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was rushing and left my shit out of all nights. And so, I mean, when you elevate, bro, you gotta move a certain way. You gotta protect got the to. prize, so, you know. 
Bing, 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 bing. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you got to. You, and, and I'm the most successful person in my family. Do you feel like the people that were moving with you at that mm-hmm. time was honoring that code of making sure that you were the prize and protecting the prize? Or do you think they was just, we all moving like homies? It, it was a combo. Um, it was a combo of that. It was a combo of, you know, people, they, they, they remember the first time you say no, and they forget the million times you, you say, say yeah. yeah. They yeah. see you making more and assume they should make more. You know, it'd it, it be different shit, man, but, you know, um, I'm glad I was able to go through yeah. that and, and, and weed out. A lot, and you that's know, what we, I was we, about. Weed out, weed out yeah. the people that wasn't on the same mind state that, that I was. And, um, but, but, but at the end of the day, like, God looking, he know, you know what I'm saying? I could have kept all my money and not, I could have hired strangers. I could have hired people who would have took way, way less money. You know what I'm saying? So in my heart, the way I was raised, I was taught to um, be a certain way and honor your people and show love to the mother who looked out for you. And what I realized as I grew, a lot of majority of people was not practicing what they preach. You know what I'm saying? And, with, much. and with that said, I'm one of them people, you know, give you a couple chances, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, I'm a, you know, I got to turn my back on you. Put this in your pocket, now I got to turn my back on you. Because, you know, <laughs> like that I was, said. I was locked up through the beginning of your your major success. Right. But the word was, man, Flip ain't the same no more. Flip don't hang with the same people no more. Yeah. Flip, uh, he moving. You know what I mean? And me, a person that's been around and having money my whole life, whether you got fame with it or just the money with right. it, you understand that you do have to move different. And, like, when you try and explain it to people who ain't had shit, they don't get it. Because that was the word. Oh, man, Flip, he this. But they mad when they look in that thing and they seen 23 million. But I just got shot. I and, can't move like that. And on top of that, I had a son. Oh, yeah, a beautiful son, by so, the way. Yes. When I had my son, like, my thought process changed. Fuck you know good. what I'm saying? It, I couldn't make decisions based on just me. Now I got somebody that's dependent on me. So when I make my decisions, you know what I'm saying? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go logical. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a proper warnings. Hey, I, you don't get the warnings, then I got to do what I got to do because I'm, I'm going home to, to my son. So my whole mind frame of moving in business, it changed. Like, okay, I got a son now. Now I gotta, I gotta really go hard. I, really, I gotta really get some generational wealth. I gotta really play Monopoly with this because I refuse to be one of the many stories of most rappers when they leave this earth, they family can't afford to bury them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go funds me, like that. You, nobody know where the money is. Ain't Fish no fries. college, you know, ain't no college fund. So, with that said, I'm going to do what I got to do. So if it's owning 5% of this, 10% of this, 20 of this, half of this, having albums over here, albums, all this is monopoly. Like, when you a person that can create this shit like this, like, to you, it might be like, oh, this is the greatest song, freestyle of the world. Like, oh, I love this. Like, okay, that's cool. I can make another one. So I don't fall in love with material shit. There you go. And I don't fall in love with the music like that because I can keep on creating Come another so one, another one. So it's yeah. like, that's cool. You paying me, man, we get paid for our voice. It's people talk all day, they don't get paid for this. Shit. So this is a blessing for me. So what, they go pay me to make some rhyme and say some witty shit. How much do you want me to talk? Man, it was only the people disgruntled employees again yeah let me say it like that so when you had to stop recording over here and had to stop buying whatever from over here because right. i mean you kept who mattered we i mean you know will uh uh duke they were still around but what you want me to do come to the hood with this type of money you see what happens to young thugs and Soldier boys and what's my, I mean, that soldier boy, the other boy, that, that the wife and Lucha that, that feel like they got to be a part of this here and show people they real and get out there and lose it all, man. It's yeah, free just, both of them, man. Free, yeah, free, free them both, free Lucha, man. man. I don't like to see nobody locked up, man. Man, it's just, it's just, man, what can you tell them about getting, because these kids is getting the money. You started the, 
big money contracts, man. The, be- man. the best way, bro. Like, How do you move with that type of money? Why? What's your suggestion for these man. youngsters to move when they start when they uh change like that, bro? The, the best way, bro. Like if you have conversations, more conversations. Even though some, if a person go try to snake you, they go do it regardless. But for the most part, when you have, my dad taught me if you work with people and people work with you or work for you have conversations with them, find out what they going through, find, you know, t- just talk to them because you can have a person supposed to be watching your back that just got into it with his gal and he, he's supposed to be watching your back and he ain't in his right mind and you don't know what's going on, that could cost you your life. So I'm finna talk to the people around me, hey, what, what you got going on, everything cool? Hey, how, you, how you making money, everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to know what's going on so I can right. kind of evaluate your mind state so I can know what's around me, you know what I'm saying? So. With that said, you know, my advice to the young artists, when you get your money or if you have a disagreement with your partner, talk to them. Don't run and tell nobody else you got a problem with your partner. Pull them to the side, talk to them, you know what I'm saying? Address it. Hey, this how I feel, hey, this how I feel, hey man. Man, I thought you meant that when you did. Talk about this Like, don't let the money or fame get you to a point where you feel you too big, too big to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody ain't working for your conversation, but if it's somebody you got ties with, you did business with, I feel like at least try to have a conversation about it. You know what I'm saying? And try to get an overstanding, and in my world, a clover standing there you go. about it, and, and, and move on. And just because you might not agree to stay around each other, because you got some people that if y'all fall out, they can't go their separate ways and mind their business. Right. They got to keep mm-hmm. it up. If I can't be over there with you, then I'm going to call sh- man, I'm one of the type of, hey, man, we fall out. I mean, and, and you ain't really one of my brother. I don't feel like it's worth trying to assess the situation to see where I f- up it and look at it. Then, cool, I'm not finna lose no sleep. Call like, it a day. Yeah, like that. Have you ever woke up at the top of your game and looked around and didn't know the people around you for real, for real? Like, have you ever been like, you know, somewhere on a jet somewhere and just look like, man, I don't know these. Have you ever been in that situation at the top of your game? Um, It's lonely up top, man. It, it's lonely if you you taking the wrong mother- with you. Yeah. So it, basically you now. You gotta find people that think like you think. There you go. And all that, like, the people that are into the same you know what I'm saying? Usually hang together. The people that sip together, they 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 hang. The smokers mm-hmm. hang. The people that snort hang together. The people that do, you know what I'm saying? Hang with what they like to do. You feel me? Me, I like to get money. I like to get money. I like to close deals. I like to make music. I like to be free. I like to work for myself. I like to paint. I like to be around my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to be able to enjoy this one ride this one exactly. trip ticket that we got so me i be on some enjoy life so Man. usually the people that's with me i know who they are even though everybody got different attitudes but like at the height of my career um by me knowing a lot of the people that was around me and their backgrounds and what they was into kind of stuff i always had you know ideas of what certain people were capable of so when so when certain things happened it wasn't a full surprise there you it go. was just the cause okay well that was the fee of cows are doing cows are doing business you know what i'm saying so with that said it's all good and some of the same people that i seen 99 percent of these people they seen me we seen each other man they apologize and we talk we, we speak you know what i'm saying like it, it's growing everybody got different growing things pains. going on man some people some people got pride, you know what I mean, where they right. don't want to come to another man and say, hey, man, man I this show money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they don't know how to tell right. you. Yeah. And I only say that because you know that happens a lot when we get successful. Us, right. you look up, it got to be the scariest thing in the world. I always ask people that, man, to actually be where you want to be at because we work so hard. Like. You was doing a lot of traveling, bro. You was doing a lot of things. Yeah, pull us up, baby. And I know they got to be scared to look up and be like, man, I don't know none of you. You got to really join the one deep entertainment company when you get this money, man. For hey, real, nah, for real. That's, hey, yeah, that's, you see what I got on my hat? Bro taught me a lot. He taught me a lot not to give a fuck about a lot. Look, a lot of shit I used to give a fuck about. That's why, like, I know people been waiting on Kings of the South too forever, but... 
I value, like, yeah, we make some great music together and all that, but I, I value the conversations. Yeah, friendship. Where we going? Yeah, the dilly brother dilly, where we doing? You just on you, you know. Um, well, let me just say what I value with Ro, and then we go toast. I, 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 well, yeah, you want to have a toast? <laughs> I, I, I value, like, the conversations, though, behind the scene. When we, right, we be talking right. about life. And brother talk. Yeah, like, we be talking about life and just go out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, God ain't helped a lot of people. Ain't no nigga ever spent $3,000 on my birthday meal oh, on earth. You, you know what I'm saying? Joseph May yeah, May. yeah, yeah. So, you know, and I ain't going to ever forget that because the year prior to that, I had a dinner. And I had about 20 people with me when it was time to pay. Nigga, she, the bill was still like 2000 and I had to pay it. After looking around, yeah, on the, your the, birthday. it was like 5000 and I pretty much still had to pay like half of the bill. So I never forget that shit and like having conversations about, you know, business and, you know, him losing his mom and just the, the real conversations. Right. That shit matter. I and, swear. and that builds character and I appreciate that shit. So, man. you know, this, this shot right here, man, we go do this shot right here. This shot is to all our mamas. Your mamas, man. hero mama, my mama. Dear mama. Yeah, this to the mamas, man. For sure. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. <laughs> Bell Station, man. Boy, I used to catch you there something nice, man. It was a while ago, though. Lucky stash. That Tell us about this, man. Well, what happened was somebody gave this to me. Okay. It had the word lucky in it. So you say that's it what it green. is. It was green. I tried it. I was like, damn. Like when you first tried it, what what that's all right, what the yeah. taste do? You didn't expect yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's so pretty that's cool. what happened. That's what happened with me. So I like it. And uh yeah, we ain't got no deal yet or none of that. But I Oh, like it's this coming shit. now. Yeah, it, it is. They yeah. see it on the table, yeah, so you know what it is. Let's talk some business. I like this. I can help sell this. Equity. Man, let's Check go. Equity and equity. Exactly. <laughs> Man, sunshine night. Okay. Pac-Man song going crazy. Game over. Man, give us one of the craziest tour life. Just one of the, just, you got to go the whole tour life, but just one show you out the country, something that just shocked the sh like you never would expect coming from Cloverland. Like, well, well, where were like you when you say, man, I'm from Cloverland doing, damn, what wild you? A, a, a few, a lot of things, but like stand out. I'ma say, um, we got to go with performing at I think it was High Five Pavilion or TSU. It was a show when Nas was out there. Mm. It was like Nas, I think Lauren Hill. I know Destiny Child was there, and uh, J Mac. I had helped him write his song Welcome to Max World, and uh -oh. he, he forgot his words. And we practiced all night. He forgot his shit the next day, but. He, but we, we, I performed that with Matt. Here in Houston? Yeah, in Houston. And then after that, wow. you know, uh, me and Note, we did Diamonds in Your Face. Uh -huh. And the crowd, like when my part came on, bro, they were screaming that shit like so f loud. Like I had like an out of body experience. I was like, damn, that, that was like crazy. So that was like my most memorable like moment, wow. like in Houston, but yeah. then like on the road, like going to, it, it gotta be going to Europe with Wu-Tang Clan because in life, I've met a few people who I encountered later on in my life on different occasions and I already knew their character when I was young, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But with Wu-Tang, everything was positive, but I'm just speaking of right, somebody else right. that did some But it's all good. But with that said, you know, swim well, Christian Mingus. But look, going to Europe with Wu-Tang, it's like full circle. I met Wu Tang at Stick Horse. I'm in middle school. Okay. Like, they promoting a maxi single, M E T H O D, man. They man. jump out of a van. You know about Wu Tang Clan? I'm like, nah, I ain't never heard of it. I got, I got the Wu Tang logo somewhere on my neck. But I'm like, nah, I never heard of it. They gave it to me. So I, I started jamming it. I'm start, I started getting on their music, right? Fast forward eight years later, I signed with Loud. Now I'm label mates with Wu-Tang Clan. Come on, man. Right? So we label mates. So my first European tour was with them. I was the opening act. So we doing big ass festivals in Amsterdam. We got to do on um, YouTube, Around the World in One Day. It's a documentary. Me and Shasta, we over there smoking big blunts in Amsterdam, <laughs> doing <laughs> festivals, Berlin, Zurich. Come on, man. Time of my life. So one day we backstage, RZA like, hey, man, come to the studio. We in Germany. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, here go my 
flipped on alley oops again, which I always do. They like we want to get you on the Blade Trinity soundtrack, right? Which is three oh. Trinity three, right? So my number three, I'm Boomer Marster. So threes, keep up. Three threes. Um, yeah. So okay, I do the verse. I'm like, hey Shasta, put a hook on this. So I, I told Shasta write a hook. So they ended up putting me and Shasta on the song. So when the Blade Trinity movie play, it played a song that me and Shasta on, but it only played Shasta hook. So you don't hear me. Yeah, I ain't mad. But I'm on now. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Shasta, man. Chick ain't we mad. was in the lab. We was in the lab a couple of days ago. But I'm saying that to say, like, touring with Wu Tang, going to Europe, going overseas, and seeing the way people appreciate music and appreciate us. Like in America, a lot of, a lot of us. You know what I mean? And they really appreciate. It. I mean, going to Japan and all that, and you know with you and, and prior to that like they, they wait for you with signs at the plane that like it's just filled up you know what I mean like so man that, that shit is memorable BET Awards is memorable oh, when I man. did it and then had to fly out to Europe uh, going to the Hip Hop Awards taking road to the awards in Atlanta man <laughs> that was that was that was epic Snoop Dogg coming to the studio while we in New York and getting on the uh, what? He got on Game Over Remix. Come on, man. Like, I had, what was I? I think I performed at Carson Daly. We was in, like, the ABC building, the NBC building. So I had to do Carson Daly, I think, with David Banner. And Snoop was doing somebody else's show, but he was in the right. same building. Man, he in the ABC building smoking. And this right after the anthrax they, happened. They don't care about none of that. Hey, man, Snoop, hey, Snoop the go, man. Snoop can smoke anywhere, man. Come on, he man. Smoke, he go smoke anywhere, but, um. He came to the studio. I'm like, I got studio time later. You know how he is, nephew, I'm gonna slide up, I'm gonna pull up. So he pulled up, came over the trash bag full of weed. Damn. And reached Did it, it again. Pulled the chunk <laughs> out, and then I'm like, Pawn, I'm, I'm telling Duke Pawn, hey man, come roll. You know, we, be, we used to roll them big ass, and yeah, yeah. big ass burrito blunts. And That's so we smoking, right. he go in there and do his verse, one take, he gets on the game over remix. Uh, and then he uh, come out, you like that flip, y'all forget it. He said, well, damn, y'all smoke that weed? I said, we from Texas. We smoke big blunts. Like, he reached back in the bag, put shit on the table, and he like, I'm finna get out of here. I'm like, what I owe you? He said, man, charge it to the game. Keep doing what you do. And so then I got game on there. So I got three game over remixes. I got a West Coast remix, me snooping the game. I got an East Coast remix, me Cassidy and Chris from the Young Guns. Then I got Ooh, the Down South right. remix with Young Buck and Bun B. So that's true. Yeah, so for like Snoop, and I met him a while back with Ghetto and Daz, like a while, while back prior to that, like when he got on the bus, well, he was on the bus, I got on the bus. As soon as I walk in, he was like, if I spill a drink on my clothes, I can, I do, can do that. And I'm looking at him like, damn, you know this. And Ghetto like, I told you, I got you, I got you. you know, so those are moments, man, when legendary people step up and help the up and coming artists. Man. I'll never forget that. People like Snoop and Devin, because I do the like, if I see an artist that's really, you know what I'm saying, on the grind and trying to make it, sometimes I really, like, give a discount just because you trying to do something. I remember being in your shoes and wanting to make it. So me being able to put a smile on your face and make a little bit of money, Amen. it's cool. Because guess what happened? I'm going to get my blessing from God. But if I show you love on the verse, when you come back from the video, you know what it's worth. Message. You know what I'm, you know what I'm doing <laughs> and go you up know who's working. Exactly, so, man. You know. Man, that's too dope there, man, because I uh, can't forget about the time you took me, Kiki, Pokey, to the video shoot out there in yep. L.A. It's my first time in L.A., man. That's one of the highlights of my life, man. You know right. what I mean? I met some people that, that changed my life, need say, hey, that's later what, in life. That's you know? what, and right. I, I got to really... You know what I'm saying? Will Lynn, I, I give him his credit, but you know, you know, if you know, you know. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, man, it's deep. I sure appreciate now, I, that. I feel like, I feel like Screw, man, I feel like he put us together for reasons. He knew some of the reasons, and he probably didn't know all the reasons. But as you grow and build, you know, you got to figure out why did God put certain people around you? Some people are meant to be people that you say hi and bye to. Some people are meant to be people you work with. You know what I mean? You got to. Some people gotta, are meant to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I feel like he gone, right? So right. even though he live here through spirit, but he gone. So we still here. So I feel like us being screwed up click members, like we this is something that we got to honor. Like 
it's it's a code that should be you know withheld like our brothers us as brothers period no like any problems what. we got yeah. we need to talk about this with no cameras with no cameras and first that's first. why i was saying with the yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. that gotta be done first bro right. we can't do everything for the camera nah. which brings me to big dez came home right my boy, man, you my boy, Big Dez, Welcome some love, back, man. man. Welcome home, Big Dez, man, it is. and free C note, free the so, man. My but brother. before Dez had left, y'all hadn't crossed hairs yet because right. you're around the back. What people don't understand is another reason, uh, uh, so they understand that you weren't there when they first started out. You was too young. You were more in the BG era, era of, right. of the Batman boy type thing because right. you're younger than us. Yeah, okay, yeah. so when Dez came home. Y'all got a chance to kick it and associate, man. I heard like after they came on my show, cause I wanted all y'all there. Right. Before I go, Botany has always been a group that Houston has revered. And just so y'all know, as a group, as a neighborhood in Houston that's next to South Union, right. that stick together, man. That's what we True. love about y'all. The unity of Botany is like unmatched. Yeah, and we gonna you be know. in our black. And all we gonna cars, be in our black, black every time. All my whips black now, till this day. Okay, so the, the leprechaun thing with you and such and such and certain things had the neighborhood right. had a little split. Correct. But lately after my show, I heard it was a, a, a meeting had, like, right. with the Botany, man. As much as you can tell us what's going on with that, man. Man. Dez, I never had a chance to meet Dez because he was locked up, you know what I'm saying? A long time. So um, he reached out, um, Head reached out, and Dunny Houston, basically Dunny Houston was the the mediator or the facilitator. They reached out to him like, hey, man, we want to get, you know what I mean? We, yeah, we want to come over here and chop it right, up with our, right. with our guys. Yeah, so, the, so um, Basically, that's what happened. So we we agreed on a day to meet up, and we met up, and chopped it up, and uh, it was dope, man. You know that's what I'm saying? Head, that, head started it off with a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Man. I had a uh, big West with me, and the crazy part, I learned that day. I didn't know that my dad was locked up with head. I, I didn't See? know that they was that close, but See? my dad probably ain't tell me because it was up, and he probably would have thought I looked at him like, "Hey, what is you doing?" You know what I'm saying? Man. So I learned some some shit that day, and um, I got a chance to you know speak and let people know my mind frame and what it was, and you know what it is, and where, and, and where I met with it, and how I looked at it, and. Then, you know, everybody got a chance to speak, and that was my first time seeing Duke. I ain't seen Duke in about. Man, man, about 15 years, so. You know, I don't I, like that. You know, I love y'all together, yeah, man. Yeah. You now know, y'all something else, man. That's now good. Now, we back. We That's back. Good. We back locked in. Zylene. We, we talked Trip about it. it. Yeah, yeah. What, what happened between me and him was like, it was it was minor. And I, I had got the, the background from his brother. You know, right. no, no told me what happened. And yeah. we talked about it. Cleaned that was it. it. That was yeah. it. It wasn't no, it wasn't nothing. Well, can't come back from man, you know what I'm saying? Amen. That's my bro. So we we chopped it up, man. We back locked in, man, and that's I'm, I'm proud of the growth where he had. He didn't reinvent it himself with a whole new name. Dripping. Hey, and, and he got <laughs> man. He got a team full of that love him, man. So shout out to Dr. Zai. Shout out to Beaumont. He got Beaumont on lock right yeah, now, man. man. He doing his thing, man. Ghetto, I know Hebo. you proud of him, man. And, and my boy Capone in the highs, man. Yes, hey, hey, that that's 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 my G there, man, for sure, man. He uh ever since he been around, man, and came around, he's been like an asset and com and continues to allow to be an asset, man, because the first time me meeting Capone, not meeting him, but you know, getting acquainted was the right. uh the T I. And I know you don't like talking about nah, certain we things. We yeah. We ain't we ain't this gonna be the last time I talk about this. Ever exactly. on, on my brother's show, so that, that's why I'm finna leave like, it because it's over, bro. So <laughs> don't pull you going to your shenanigans. You know I'm a comedian, now. Hey, man. It, it's a time to be a comedian, and it's, it's a time, time to get to, real. Yeah, I'm your brother. Right, yeah, take, right, let right. Me, take the shades out. Let me, let me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm your brother. Yeah, brother, 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 brother. All right, now say what you gonna say. All right, stars, lighting, cameras, <laughs> man. Here we go, man. You know, because this is what I get tired of. When they bring it up, they make it like. Hey man, like somebody came down here and did something like they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So right. now that the world does know that of the fact, we ain't gonna worry about what happened too much. 
how are y'all standing now is more of my question. Like, where is it now? At the meeting, the agreement was we ain't saying nothing about each other. I have upheld my part of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not dissing each other. We're not taking shots on records, none of that. So I upheld my part. Um, we did a record probably like three years ago called Shells.com. Shout out to King Lee. Um, it's on YouTube. Check it out. That's dope, yeah, there, yeah. Man. So we, we did a record. We talked on the phone, and you know I ain't gonna say what was discussed, but yeah, right, it, right, it, right. The right. overall was just like, man, we, you know what I'm saying? We was young, and you Water know what I'm saying? We, we talked about the man, and we moved on. So currently, I ain't talked to him in probably about a year, probably a year and a half. But uh, I got his number. But wherever it's at, that's where it's yeah, at. Yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. Yeah, we, we passed it. We yeah, passed, my we, thing we with that, that is, is you know me at that time and that age, I'm like y'all didn't drop this king of the south. Y'all didn't put uh 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 the cribs in the in the ribs, and I'm like, hey. Let's keep ribbing and cribbing, you know what I'm man, saying? But nah, you such man. a, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you allow me to understand that sometimes that all that don't even matter. Sometimes you just keep going and you just you keep sure. because, killing them with success. Don't worry about that because you, you stayed rich. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You stayed putting it down. Stay working. And you still here and you even better than ever, and bro. never sold my soul. Never did none of that behind closed doors. Never smoke no more. Have you ever been to a Diddy party? Never. <laughs> Never. Never ever. I mean, no, listen, because people don't understand, like, they say they've been leaving at certain times, and I'm only asking you, it's funny as hell, but the thing is this here, they, here go everybody that say that they've been the one. Well, I left at 12. <laughs> yeah, you know the real party started at two, but I left at twelve. How all y'all left at twelve? Because this had one thousand bottles of lotion. Who do that? Why they do that? And how they do that? I don't know, bro. But this industry is tricky, man. And do you feel like maybe you got out of that major label at the right time? Like, man, let me get out y'all way and go so I can stick to the core of me and get in the real bad. Brother, life is about context. My dad told me when you're in a room with people, so instead of me just being on, a, I'm a star, I don't, I'm going to alienate myself from the crowd. Nah, I'm going to talk to people and see what you do. What you do? What's your name? I do this. this. My dad told me get context. You could be in a room with somebody that could help you. But if you on your Hollywood, all right, man, I ain't talking to nobody. You might not know the standing right next to you. you. Might be a billionaire and might just need somebody to show him where to spend the money. You know what I'm saying? So the, you get the contacts, right. right? So I had the contacts from being independent, traveling the world, because I wasn't just doing shows in our region. Hey, man. I was still doing shows. Before I signed my deal, I was doing shows in New York. I was all over the world. But when I got the deal, I'm like, okay, we've been here. Now let's align ourselves with a bigger bag, bigger push, bigger radio. Now I'm in bigger venues in New York. You see what I'm saying? Right. And um, so it was a contact thing. Let me utilize the contacts. Put me over here. Okay, I'm promoting this. Every time I had a deal or, or was going to promote something, even if my artist at the time was not on Sony or whatever label I was on, I'm still promoting that. So I, it might be a, I need mine album. I'm, oh, hey, Zero Locked Up put Free Zero on my cover. Hey, it's, this is not a mixtape flip, this is an album. I we know what care. the is. Put Free Zero in blue on my album cover. You did that, bro. Yeah, yeah, they can't tell me what to do. You I had did leverage. Yeah. I did, so I, I came yeah. in with leverage to be able to dictate, you know what I'm saying? I, I dictate, not dictate. Yeah, it's a difference. So, hey, man. Yeah, so. I like that one. Yeah, brother, so I never lost myself within and you know, even when that stuff happened, people assume that I took a break or I just, I ain't take yeah. no break. I still drop music. I ended up switching labels, but I still was putting out music. But when you become legendary status and goat status and sell millions of records, you have earned the power to drop when you want to drop and release. When the last time Sade dropped an album? Exactly. You know, it's been a minute. And, and I love Sade, that's my favorite singer, so. When the last time Jay-Z dropped one? It's been a minute. But he been doing up, you know? That's dope. You man. know, so when you, you pace yourself, bro, when we get to the points that we had at our career, man, we drop when we want to drop. We move when we want to move. And that's the, the perks of being a GOAT. And you are that, bro, man. So, you know, 
I'm just loving life right now, man. We're going to have to wrap up part two to this thing, man, because I know we got to, you know, move and shake and do what we do, man, because, hey, man, it's a gangster party. Because before we get out of here, I just want to get one more flow session in because we're going to come back. You know, we got to do the double two because we're going to the – to the super lab over there so we can got dog on me uh let the people into the new flip world right. because oh before we go hold on one Uh-oh. more thing man I one know more you, thing i you know, know I where you to like, go i know you don't want me to talk about this man but you will want to know man mm-hmm. hey man we trying to see something right here flip. let me take my glasses off so yeah, you can oh, see okay. it's your brother right here right here man. okay we're trying to see you in this one leg sick Come down in the red, man. We trying to put this battle together to end the career of this here. Who gave you this, man? DJ Screw. Okay, so you are the freestyle king. Correct. But in 2000, can we 2024 see you and Cedric Sosa? Head up, no diddy. Go at it and, and rumble in the jungle, man. When, when can we get man. our answer flipping? When winner takes all. Twenty grand winner take out. Oh yeah, yeah. I ain't ducking no smoke, but we gonna have to have a conversation. Okay. B- b- before that, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. About calling me a thief, I gotta look you in your eye and show you the facts. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta address that. So a sit down need to happen first, and then you know what I'm saying. Then I can show you, you know what I'm saying, it's different. I'm Flip Mayweather. It's a different one to be playing. Nah, it was different. And, and even with some of the stuff he was saying about the freestyle, like, you know how like when you do shows, like for instance, like Lil Wayne, right? He did a freestyle to Mike Jones, uh, Mr. Jones beat, right? Right. He did a freestyle. He performs that sometimes, right? People know word for word. So, exactly. some, so some, sometimes when you're a true performer, when you know your crowd, like if I'm rapping on the June 27 beat, I got a freestyle I actually did at a show. So I know probably like 12 to 16 bars of that, but it's certain lines that make the crowd go crazy. Like when I be like, turn her to a lesbian, free Larry Hoover, big meets and free SPM. When I say his name, they just go crazy. Ah. So as a performer, you gotta know how to gauge your crowd. So when I freestyle to the June 27 beat at my shows, some of it is going to be from my freestyle that I actually did. To, and then some is going to be, you know, but if, but if it's a whole nother beat, it's going to be just all freestyle. So at my shows, I'm mixing lines and shit that I know that they go do. But as far as people doubting if a n- can, you know, get, get, get to it, you it's know, like I, say, like, like, I say, like I say, like I say, bro, it's levels to Man, my skill set is different, man. And, and, and to my brothers, to him, and you know anybody that you know got uh, negative stuff to say, man, you know, talk to me before you you know get on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I ain't, I ain't no thief. I don't have to steal. I ask for it if I need it. So you know, we have a conversation about that, and, and then, make that and, a conversation. And, and, then, yeah. and then you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Winner takes all. Cool. It's all to the good, bro. And but see what it, it do. It, 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 I know what it do. <laughs> and plus, he know what it do, y'all. What it so do. Y'all think flip tripping? He ain't tripping. Yeah. I mean, cause I mean, when you say thievery, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, what was the thievery? Was he, it the, he was the notebook his, shit? Or nah, what? nah, nah. When he was that talking, was on that. The what? publishing stuff. When he was talking about the Hulk stuff, like well, this, this, that, that, bro, that's that never. That's happened. been happened. Yeah, what you that say? never happened. I've no. seen that. I know yeah. you can only say yeah, so yeah. Much. I can't he, say the man real ain't stole nobody. He, he know the real story. That's why Hump ain't on here. You think I wouldn't have wanted to get that whatever Willie D got? That's a check when people come sit down and it ain't right. that people don't know. Yeah, but so, it's gonna fact check first. You know what I mean? It ain't check out fact. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, so with that, I gotta let the lawyers handle that stuff. But you know, there once you we sit go. down and talk about that, you know what I'm saying? We talk about that. Look out of eye. We can, see what we, can we can address all the stuff you think how stuff happened back in the days. What and, about? And, and I tell you, what, I, what about this notebook? What yeah. about? Notebook. I've heard you talk on this yeah, notebook. Yeah, what yeah, what yeah. the hell on this notebook like? The notebook, bro, we was working on a record. I left I wrote on the notebook. I uh-huh. left it there. He ended up going doing a record and using what I had left on the notebook. I didn't get no call saying, hey, I'm just go whatever he said. Hey, I called and said I'm gonna use it. No, I, why would I let you use my like without Wait. getting paid? Like why would I just let you use something I wrote without getting paid? So 
that's not how that story right. happened. And, and I ain't got to lie about it. Oh, I ain't saying no, that. No, I'm just telling, I'm telling the camera people. Yeah. Like, I ain't got to lie. I'm, see, I ain't one of them people that I'm a lie to make myself look good. I come from a military family, man. My grandpa taught me, shoot straight. If you say you be accountable, move on. So what I got to lie about? You know what I'm saying? And that that be the thing. Like, different people's minds is different. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I don't know what happened mentally. Some people remember, I don't know. All I do is smoke, you know, a little, a little, a little medicinal. So I don't know the effects of it. But that, the stories that he was saying, it, it didn't happen like that. But at the end of the day, I appreciate what you did for me and vice versa. Hopefully you Because that's what I see. I was yeah. in a place in a time right then for right. a notebook to be close to somebody. Y'all had to Correct. be some type of friends at that and, time, And I was right? 17 and 18 okay. when I was going over there. I wasn't 16 and 15. And people did know who I was. He was like, anybody know? Nah, I, they yeah. knew. You can ask DJ Gold. You can ask DJ Red. I'm in Club Unique winning the money for the battles. Uh, drumsticks, just joking. I didn't battle some radio personalities. I ain't going to say his name. Right, right. It's just joking. And, 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 yeah, smoked them. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. Nah, they, so, they was hearing about you yeah, going so, through So, them. you know, like, don't discredit a person just because you wasn't there or you, you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So... Me, I'm coming here on the bigger king, and I ain't finna get on here and be trying to disrespect them and all that, because I had love for him and still got love for him. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, if he want to have a conversation face to face and we can talk about, hey, what's what, and get a better clover standing on what happened, at the end of the day, then that, Yeah, then yeah, yeah. that can happen. Yeah, right, but, man, but man, that's go, grown. But, that's but, grown. But, but, if you go, that's grown. but if you go keep going around trying to disrespect me, and I, then I'm not going to do no business to help you make some money, even though I'm gonna win the money. So yeah. either it's gonna be this way or, you know, it could be that way. Either way, you see what my hat say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One Depot yeah. Live. Yeah. That's the new hats, by the way. Y'all go on the, uh, on the website, One yeah. Deep Entertainment, and go look at them hats and go buy them all. Every yeah. last one of them. So if y'all was looking for me to get on here and talk crazy about my brother, see, I'm a, I'm the youngest in the screwed up clique, but I'm gonna connect myself like I'm the oldest. That's what's Basically, up. Basically, screw ain't put us together to be getting on cameras, disrespecting each other. Leg, we supposed to talk behind closed doors and never let nobody divide us. That's so real. I ain't gonna play them with you. I got a nah, presidential job that I a salary and artists Ooh. I gotta sign exactly. and bring in. So I'm not gonna be childish and be that happened all them years ago, man. At the end of the day, you gotta let that go move on you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because i didn't move on so we can talk and then depending on how that conversation go you know then it's whatever but man i ain't ducking no smoke with this, man winner takes off i'm done i gotta go let's do it